Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Riv and today we're here with 80's Golden Hour Part 1 uh, reaction to the whole album. I already did the reaction to the music video. It was so much fun. You can find it there. Um, now, I didn't expect to find the color code lyrics already, but luckily I did. So with this I know it ca uh, there could be mistakes and with how fast they came out I mean if there are any mix mistakes I'll probably know about it sooner or later because 80s is someone and w which music I go back to like daily I listen to a lot of it the 80s so just so you know if something is not like it, like here, it, like it's written here, I'll know it soon. Um, but now, let's go. Before we got, we get into Golden Hour and the whole album, um, I just want to put here past me and um, because I reacted to the clip, this clip, um, the clip that w came out with Golden Hour with Maddox's voice, um, so back in the past I'm really nervous and excited Oh moments in life those moments are like quick flashes and never come back everyone has their own special time in life some people look forward to what's ahead while others cherish the memories of what's gone by but just like every beginning has an end what should we dream of and hope for as these fleeting moments pass what should we call Apart from those beautiful and shining moments, could living for a moment leave our hearts feeling empty? The moments of laughter with friends, quiet family dinners, relaxing weekends with loved ones, could these be the real golden hours of our lives? Okay. <coughs> I feel like this intro is very similar to the intro we had for the Treasure Era and for um, Fever. Um, it made me emotional because it's more like um, the video it's centered around eighty. And all the time that went by and the old eras and just... Uh. Also, the fact that uh, some shots remind me of uh, Wave made me really emotional because Wave, it's one of those songs that... I mean, it's the first song that I heard from them, first comeback I had. Um, I hadn't heard anything from them and a friend told me oh you want to listen to this group is they having a comeback soon I was like sure and then I was in <laughs> so when I listen to wave sometimes I cry well most of the times I cry <laughs> this remind me reminded me of wave it's not good for my not crying gen on the channel agenda especially because well I mean I already cried here a bunch of times but Honestly, it's not something that I want to do. Um, it's really pretty. The video is really pretty. Of course, Maddox's voice is always really shooting and like very calm. Um, but I don't know what to expect from this album. I don't expect an entirely emotional album. Um, so I'm really excited for everything that's going to 
feet on this all the tracks honestly I just I can't figure out what's going to um, happen <laughs> but it was interesting the fact that we are looking back at all the like all the time that's passed and all the years that we went through and we're back on YouTube I mean are we back on universe a because I feel like there's hint I mean of course they did all the lore stuff but I think watching this you could have the idea that like it's not related to their lore but at the same time the little things are reminding me of their previous era kind of is just telling me that it is just an intro and they are hinting that we're just back on universe A. I really like the colors of course we are on the golden hour and we're talking about that and just I don't know it's just it was incredible to see and really emotional for some reason. Listening to this and then listening to work is just what it's in the middle of that and we we going from that from this to that no idea let's go and kind of see if we can understand that oh this is definitely a 80 song oh Okay. Oh god, this was so much fun. Okay, I think, I hope, I mean, as of now, this album is just 
so much fun. <laughs> I love this song. I think I prefer this song to work. But it's the oh sorry. <laughs> I think it's just because like they are bit two very different songs. Um I now understand what the little spoilers about the type of the album were. I agree with that. <laughs> and I am so excited. Like I was I was like a nervous kind of excited just because I'm always kind of nervous when they drop something because I don't know which mm, what's going to happen and what's going to be my next obsession for the next year, six months uh, to year because I'm still obsessed with Bouncy um, because of them <laughs> and whoa, so Blind it's a huge contender for my favorite song of this album <laughs> and we are two songs in nice let's go um i love their vocals i love whatever choices they made with this it's just okay next next song it's work and we're gonna listen to it again of course it's shorter than i expected to be but it doesn't matter it's still almost three minutes. Gotta work, gotta make that money, make first. Gotta work, or so I make you burn. Give a make flesh, but the me burn. Gotta, gotta, gotta work. Gotta make that money, make first. Gotta work, or so I make you burn. Gotta get that credit, get perch. Gotta, gotta, gotta work. Yo, yo, yo. Favorite line of this song. Go Django! empty box and uh, I don't have any idea of what this song is about I just know that I'm scared because both Hong Jung and Sun said it's their favorite song on this album uh, maybe somebody else but I'll I, I can be wrong uh, I'm scared just just so you know mm. Been searching for a little Okay. 
I took a moment to collect my health because hell the moment Hong Jun came in with that rap part I just lost it um I mean in my head I completely lost it like sound wise it's just it was so raw and so like they didn't have to I, I had reasons to be scared and that's the reason I didn't want to cry today and uh, this song in general, it's beautiful. Um, I just... It's really sad, but also not, but also really scared. Sad, scared. Yes, I was scared. <laughs> and I'm just sad. It's a, it's a thing. It's a whole thing with 80s. Um, I love Hong Jung. Um, voice, Hu Yang voice, just so perfect for this, and um, we, you know, you know, was great. I would love a little bit more Songwa. Um, your song was ah, his voice, just it was. I was being hurt and healed at the same time. Uh, Jungle, it's incredible as always. As always, uh, San as well. Mingi rap, Mingi rapping just. Ma <laughs> Mingi's rap was really good as well um, but Hong Jun was like <clears throat> so before Jungle uh, so before uh, before Hong Jun's part I was pretty sure I was going to go and say that this song was owned by Wu Yang but no this song and for me, for me, it was owned by Hong Jun. And it does this sometimes when we have this kind of really um, emotional song. It, it just goes and just hits you in the guts and just... It, 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 it just squeezes your heart and you just, okay, okay, you're doing that. Do whatever you want. Um, I loved his voice. I loved the choices that he, ma he made in these in his rap. I just maybe he's not his fastest rap. Maybe he's not his best flow. I don't know anything about rap, 
but emotion wise i think it was one of the most incredible parts he ever had um one of he had so many good parts but this just one of the best now next song hopefully not another crying session i don't care about what you think because i just want some more <laughs> Oh, another partage. So we went. Okay. Love the reference to old songs. Ooh. Not what I expected. Yo. This is my theory. They had a lot of work, work, just work, 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 whatever. Okay. And then they had they had to this big ass party and they get drunk, which is hilarious if you know the 80s or anything about them. Um and when you get drunk sometimes what happens? What if it is that you get sad drunk? So a empty box happened. And then you know, some friends help you out of it, and suddenly you're party again. That's my interpretation of this album because, I mean, we're we we were part we were part we were talking we were parting, and then we were talking about work and party, then whatever happened with empty box we 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 were sad, sad we we were collectively really sad. Um, was like that's the next I don't want to write to, like take my phone away. I don't 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 give it to me. Whatever I said, 
and then this friend just launches our our phone, destroys it, take us, and like put ourselves into the party again, and it's just party again because this is the vibe I'm getting. Now I think we have just one song left, which really sad. I am enjoying this so much, but let's go. Love this line. The, the song in this album I feel like this is the one that felt the shortest which probably is but like it felt short the others even like work work didn't feel short it was perfect um, this one kind of felt like it was rushing me but also seeing Lily but also seeing the lyrics I kind of understand uh, that's what they went for um, I think this album is just um, another great album. I need to time to like um, process this, but I know like I'd be obsessed with it. Um, Blind, Empty Box, and Work are my favorite song. Shaboom, it's incredible. I mean, I think Sirens is just the one that I like a little bit less. The others are just mind-blowing i just blind was so much fun shaboom was a lot and also really fun work super fun empty box whatever that was my reaction i mean not empty box empty box was perfect my reaction was whatever that was <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this if you did please leave a thumbs up and please leave in the comments down below what's your favorite song of this album. If you have one, if you have more, it's fine, just name them. Uh, and what are your thoughts on this album? Uh, 
if you want to see more please consider subscribing i do react to ikis every time they have a comeback and every time they put out music of course with work <laughs> uh things are a bit um difficult to arrange but by the end of june i'll be done with it and i'll have a little bit more free time at least i'll have a, a, a bit more free time more to like to do what i want to do and react to 80s stages st stuff like that we'll do that we'll definitely do that uh so stay tuned and i hope to see you soon bye